Evening. This is a totally unique take of any car launch I've ever been on because as you can quite clearly see we're here in the dark to introduce you to the brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost Black Badge and we are in this private aviation hangar and uh, it's very Rolls-Royce isn't it to launch a new car with uh, an Augusta chopper as the backdrop but forget that awesome toy. Behold! the ghost that quite personally I have been waiting for. Now generally it's a boost in power, boost in torque, it's now 600 PS which is just shy of 600 horsepower, it's 900 newton meters of torque sir, but the real changes here are the aesthetic subtleties which I shall point out to you right now. But before we do that I think it's important to touch on the ethos of this car. This car is all very much lifestyle driven. It's a statement car. It says more about you than it does the way it drives. This is all about during the week you might be a smart, sophisticated professional and then at the weekend you might want to let your hair down and go and hit the town in something that really says statement car. Now then let's just begin with the Pantheon grille. Now what's quite cool about this car is, and these are the really subtle details that may not necessarily always come through until you've been pointed out to you. However, the grill is now a backlit grill. So this is an illuminated grill, which is cool in itself. However, such is the attention to detail from Rolls-Royce that the inside leading edges of each of these veins has been sandblasted to create a matte surface. And what that does is keeps the sort of front facing edges gleaming and reflective and the inside matte so as not to create the sort of hall of mirrors overly imposing illumination on the front of your black badge which is a cool feature in itself and then of course the spirit of ecstasy this is now exclusively in black as part of the black badge program and really when you see it look at it isn't she a beauty there's something about that being in black that just says business. It's so mean, it's so imposing. Now if you join me down here, this is really cool. You see it to go with your revised horsepower and slightly tweaked handling and revised torque is revised wheels. These are actually a split carbon fibre rim, a first for Rolls-Royce and this really is where the, I guess I could say it really, juxtaposition of brand and car really into play represented in these wheels here because when have you ever expected Rolls-Royce to have a carbon fibre wheel? This is typically reserved for the likes of Koenigsegg and Ferrari and yet here we are, the epitome of luxury and uber wafting and we have this beautifully intricate split carbon fibre rim and it's not just a decorative finish, the entire outer hub here all the way back to full depth of the alloy is carbon fibre and then you've got the more traditional alloy centre as a hybrid of the two worlds which this car represents and it's very cool and these are 21 inches all around. Now subtle detail but that's generally what this car is all about. Uh, Rolls have also introduced um, multiple colours for your brake calipers. It may not seem like a big deal but uh, there's quite a lot of work that goes in to the heat testing, the thermal capacity of the paints which takes place on brake calipers particularly when you've got such a mass behind your right foot that you need to stop 600 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque through these disc brakes this type of paint really has to hold up to its job so no longer is it just black and silver you can have all sorts of different colors for your brake calipers okay one more subtle touch all of the badging on the car as the name would suggest is uh, black now uh, might not seem like a big deal but there has been decades of heritage and history of most of the hardware on Rolls Royces being bright work bright chrome badging accents etc so all of the trim around here which may otherwise be chrome is now smoked out and black one of the more unique features about ghosts generally not just black badge is the way that they have constructed the roof line so from the leading edge of the A pillar all the way to the tail end of the boot line this whole roof section here is one single piece and in order to achieve that they have welders simultaneously welding the roof line from both the inside and the out so not as to warp the shape of the car as it's going together it's a very trick very artisan process to create something that is super subtle which you wouldn't appreciate once again until it's been pointed out to you but believe me if you're in the lineup for a Rolls Royce this is the sort of stuff that clients love and once the story is explained to you it's such a beautiful thing now speaking of beauty let me open these stunning coach like doors to reveal this, I mean, look at that for an interior. So 
So we are in this hangar which currently has a blue hue to the lighting, but this is actually a yellow interior. Significance of that is that there is a matching hand-painted pinstripe that runs down the side of the car. Now anyone not familiar with this now iconic symbol of a Rolls-Royce, traditionally paint that sits on the outside of a car would almost always be underneath the clear coat of the car, but on a Rolls-Royce this is a finishing touch and you can literally feel this paint line here which sits on the outside of the clear coat of the car and this is truly done by hand it's such a cool thing and when you can highlight those accents tying it in with brake calipers the interior it's a gorgeous gorgeous place now then I think we'll probably hop in take you for a drive in the dark around some really cool locations we're here as the background would suggest at a uh, private runway and we're going to take you for a drive and uh, share with you the dynamics of the new black badge before heading to a uh, very lavish and quirky location to uh, yeah immerse you in some rolls royce lifestyle <laughs> i mean there's interiors and there's interiors aren't they i mean this is resplendent anyway let's find out what 600 horsepower or 600 PS and 900 newton meters of torque feels like in this revised ghost black badge. Okay, so Rolls-Royce have put on a, and I'm not joking, a, an illuminated runway at night for us. Uh, the idea is to test, I guess, two main attributes. The first one is going to be acceleration, <laughs> of which it does not hang around. Now the idea behind this is to test out some fancy systems, mostly around the suspension, which will highlight things like anti-squat, anti-pitch. Now you have to take it from me that under fairly heavy braking from a fairly high speed, there's nothing like the amount of sort of uh, natural weight transfer that you might expect from a car this size. The other thing is, and then while we're going slowly here, um, rear wheel steering. Do not underestimate what how that thing bends physics. It virtually reduces the wheel length effectively of the car at lower speeds, making it sort of more agile around town, etc. But then at higher speeds, it virtually extends it by turning the wheels very slightly in the same direction as the front wheels, keeping it more stable at higher speeds. But what I'm really impressed with particularly following the guy in front of me who's doing the same exercise as me, you can physically see that there's not as much squat as you might expect. And then we have a test here, which is effectively a slalom course. Now the suspension reacts depending on if I'm keeping a balanced throttle or I begin to increase speed through this slalom section here and it adjusts. The only way of explaining it is it doesn't get stiffer because that would be anti Rolls Royce, right? <laughs> what it does is it gets tighter. It's sort of a more reactive suspension and chassis input, but without sort of compromising its ride quality. And trying to convey that in words is really hard, but to feel it is magic. It's really interesting. So what we're gonna do now is head back up our runway and put it into a different mode, which is low. Okay, so to initiate low, uh, it is on the drive select switch here. You press it into low, it's indicated on the dash, and this will do things like holding gears for longer. Um, I guess in a weird way, this is Rolls' sport mode. Yeah, so gear shifts have just become 50% faster. It holds onto the gears longer, as you can probably hear. And we're now into the red zone, meaning onto the brakes. For a big car, this is quite a remarkable thing. I think it's really incredible. This is really blurring two worlds now. If there was ever a Jekyll and Hyde car, <laughs> one minute you can be wafting along in luxury, and the next minute you can put this into low and completely change the character of how it feels.
What's really convenient is we filmed a ghost about six weeks ago now. And while by and large that's a fairly decent amount of time to forget the primary attributes of how a car feels, being a Rolls Royce, it's still fairly fresh in my mind. Now, that being said, everything about this, it's just, what's the way to explain it? It's on high alert. Everything about it is just that little bit more poised. Uh, the dynamics of the car, there's less chassis roll, the throttle response is crisper, but it's not compromised in terms of ride quality. And that obviously is really important that it, it needs to do the Rolls Royce bit really well. But when you show it a corner, it also needs to do that really well also. So they've got a job on their hands, keeping the mass of this car in shape well over to two tons, this thing. Don't forget as well, Ghost uh, is now four wheel drive. So fantastic for when you want to uh, go and swan around the Swiss Alps in the winter. Okay, so here we are in the back of the new Ghost Black Badge, of course, experiencing the other side of Rolls-Royce, which is being driven in it. Now, we are on our way down to London from our countryside drive. Um, one of my favorite features has to be underneath this armrest here. We have the infotainment control, but right here, look at this, behold, crystal whiskey glasses, one for each side of the car. And what would whiskey glasses be without a crystal whiskey decanter, which I think if I can just point that towards, you can see the detail of the Rolls Royce logo etched into pretty much every piece of accessories in this car. But things get taken to an entirely different level in here because not only do we have a refrigerator, but it is stocked with <laughs> champagne glasses, which are chilled in themselves and a fresh bottle of chilled champagne. This for me is what the true Rolls Royce experience is all about. So you'll have to forgive me while I indulge and I shall see you in London. Okay, so we are at our final destination here, the Mandrake Hotel in London. Now, if there's anything that you want to see, hear, or know about the new Rolls-Royce Ghost Black Badge, please leave your questions and comments below, because I've got a funny feeling we're going to be spending a lot more time with this car in the near future. Also, uh, this sort of initiates this sort of overlapping wider lifestyle that I think is really cool to introduce to the channel. So, if you'd like to see anything else on this channel, planes, watches, boats, hotels, just asset classes, luxury lifestyle, let me know. Uh, we had fun in the past before the world got flipped upside down on its head and travel got put on pause, but I think now's the time to reopen the doors to that world and share it with you. So also feedback below, love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time. Ciao.